Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our discussion on the structure of the heart. Today, I want us to discuss the internal structure of the heart. Uh, the first thing uh, about the internal structure of the heart, that is specifically the mammalian heart, uh, the mammalian heart consists of four chambers. And these four chambers, two are on the right and two are on the left. So the right two chambers are referred to as the right atrium and the right ventricle. While the left chambers are the left atrium and the left ventricle. So we are saying that the heart consists of four chambers that is right atrium and right ventricle those ones are on the right side and left atrium and left ventricle. Uh, these chambers store blood temporarily during pumping. As this blood is being pumped, it is stored temporarily within the four chambers. Now, we are going to have a, a diagram showing the internal structure of the heart. So we have the internal structure of the heart and basically what we are going to do, we are going to label the parts. So there are four chambers as we have mentioned. Uh, the first uh, chamber on the right is the right atrium. Then we have the right ventricle. We go to the left side. Then we have the left atrium and the left ventricle. Uh, we have a number of blood vessels that supply the heart with blood and we have this first blood vessel, we call it the vena cava, that brings blood into uh, the right atrium. We also have this valve here that separates between the right atrium and the left uh, and the right ventricle sorry so we refer to these as the tricuspid valve it connects the right atrium and the right ventricle uh, we have the blood vessel that takes the blood now out of the left uh, the right ventricle and uh, this one is referred to as the pulmonary artery. Uh, at the base of pulmonary artery, we have uh, some valves that we refer to as semilunar valve. Also found at the base of the aorta. 
Then on the left side, uh, we have the blood vessel that brings in the blood into the left chamber. And this is that direction. And then that blood flows like that. So this blood vessel is the pulmonary vein. Uh, then we have uh, in between the right side and the left side of the heart. Uh, we refer to this part as the septum. Uh, also, it's worth noting that uh, on the right ventricle, compared to uh, the left ventricle, uh, the left ventricle has thicker muscles or has a more muscular wall. It's a more muscular wall. And I think basically we have uh, labeled the main. We also have a valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle. This one we refer to it as bicuspid valve. And basically that is the internal uh, structure of the heart. That is the internal structure of the heart. So the blue arrow shows the deoxygenated blood which is on the right side of the heart and the black arrow shows the oxygenated blood. So we can also label that. This arrow shows oxygenated blood and this other arrow here shows deoxygenated So just to explain that diagram, how the blood circulates within the heart, we are saying that uh, blood from the body tissues enter the heart through the vena cava. Enter the heart through the vena cava, which is the main vein. It then flows into the right atrium. Then into left atrium via tricuspid valve via tri tricuspid valve uh, that prevents backflow, that prevents backflow of blood. It prevents the blood from flowing uh, back to the right atrium. Then blood is then pumped by the right ventricle through pulmonary artery through pulmonary artery to the lungs to the lungs for oxygenation to the lungs for oxygenation so this blood here just to indicate, is heading uh, to the lungs. From the lungs. So this is to the lungs going up like that. And the one that is coming in back to the heart is the oxygenated blood from the lungs. So you're saying that uh, the blood, the deoxygenated blood is taken to the lungs for oxygenation. After oxygenation, it comes back 
uh, to the heart through the pulmonary vein. Oxygenated blood flows back to the heart through pulmonary vein. So the pulmonary vein is the only vein that carries oxygenated blood. Pulmonary vein to the left atrium then via or through the bicuspid valve then via the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle via bicuspid valve so all the valves, the tricuspid, bicuspid, and semilunar, they prevent backflow of blood via bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. And the left ventricle, as can be seen from the diagram, has more muscular has more muscular walls compared to the uh, the left compared to the right ventricle has more muscular walls because they pump blood to all parts of the body all parts of the body at a higher pressure. So this blood gets out of the heart through semilunar valves To the outer to the rest of the body so that generally shows how the blood enters the heart when it is deoxygenated through the vena cava the right atrium right ventricle then out of the heart through the semilunar valves pulmonary artery uh, to the lungs and then it comes back from the lungs through pulmonary vein, the left atrium. This now on this side is oxygenated. Uh, the left ventricle, which is more muscular than the right ventricle, because this one pumps the blood to all body parts through the semilunar valves and finally the aorta. So basically, that diagram shows the structure or the internal structure of the heart. The right side has deoxygenated blood. The left side has oxygenated blood. The two bloods do not mix because the wall is uh, separated or the two uh, sides are separated by a wall that is known as the septum that makes sure that deoxygenated and oxygenated blood do not mix. So from there, we'll have an assignment. So the assignment is as shown there. The first question, uh, explain why A, oxygenated and deoxygenated blood do not mix that is in the heart and uh, b muscles of the left ventricle are thicker than those of the right ventricle and question number two state the role of pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein so we'll stop there for now 
See you next time. Goodbye.